What's going on? Back with them again. What's your boy the prophet? Like, I'm feeling hella silly because I just recorded this video. <laughs> Bro, like, the wrong audio path was not muted. So, I'm recording this again. But I'm all good with that. So, what we're going to be talking about here is we're going to be talking about the uh, what to expect for the 5th anniversary of Bleach Brave Souls. Um, and that will be July 23rd. So, July 23rd will be 5th uh, anniversary. So, we're going to be going over uh, what character do I expect and what banners do I expect to see before that. Yeah, so we're about to get it popping. Hope you're going to enjoy the content. Let's get it lit. I certainly just drop it. Oh, they lift a nigga down, but I had to come up. Yeah, so I'm back down into the sun. I had to switch up. Nigga, no, I ain't mad at you. I just had to come up and look at just what that bag do. I charge into the game because I said I won't complain. Ain't been no sunny days. I had to get it out the rain. Look. Back plugged in again. All right, so listen, y'all. Listen, all right, so this is what I'm expecting to see for the uh, fifth anniversary of Bleach Brave Souls. Well, first of all, let's go over the past anniversaries. Um, so the second anniversary, well, the first anniversary was just all premium rerun characters featuring um, the uh, Danga Ichigo and the uh, Aizen and the Baragon banner. But yeah, so um, second anniversary, we got second anniversary Ichigo. A bunch of premium characters third anniversary was this is where we start really getting to get cooking this is when bleach brave souls was like elevating itself um you know really pulling apart showing us that they're going above and beyond they're going to get tite kubo they're going to pull him in for collaboration so that was when we got um third anniversary okiora um was third anniversary and then um, with third anniversary, the first this is where we start getting two halves of anniversary. So they snuck it in. Like there were K Lab live streams and all this and all that. They were announcing Ukiora, showing him off and all that stuff, hyping him up. And of course, um, at the time he was a very powerful unit. Um, barrier move with um, uh, an enhancer boost. So, um, that was a pretty good thing, but he did have non-affiliation killers, so it was like, eh. Um, one of the coolest looking charge attacks in the game, still to this day. Um, so, yeah, they definitely go above and beyond with the design of these characters. Uh, fourth anniversary, we got, um, oh, well, wait, let me not skip over this. But third anniversary, we had, um, um, the, uh, uh, Excuse me. Basically, what I'm saying is, third anniversary was when we started the second half of anniversary. And what they did was they snuck in, um, woo, they snuck in the True Bankai Ichigo, Yuha Bot, Yoruichi, and uh, Kisuke. At this time, um, well, this was the last manga banner that we were thinking that was confirmed. Well. This was the the fourth manga banner was the was it like we were thinking that was it after the fourth manga round there was no continuation of that it is going to be done forever, um, but so so this was supposed to be like the really 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 big one but when when all the Bankai live streams and stuff all that were promoting was Ukiyora that's it and then they showed one little slide of Yuha Bak and said. Um, uh, that he'll be coming to the game soon and that's pretty much all they said like that was very mischievous no one knew how soon but they meant seven days later soon so they always say this like they always you know always do this like kind of mischievous like little plug but um fourth anniversary they didn't do that after fourth anniversary came out with the um with the Mugetsu Ichigo and the Vasta Lord, uh, Lord Ichigo. Um, after that, we got manga round five. 
And this was incredibly hype because this was Manga Aizen. So they always try to do an Ichigo in an Aizen, an Ichigo or an Aizen for anniversary. So even though third anniversary Ukiura was the third anniversary character, we had True Bankai Ichigo right after him at the second part of anniversary. Um, so it's always been an Ichigo, an Aizen, or an Ukiura. Those are the only characters that really have been. Um, and then... The tragic part about Ukior is that his alternate rebirth version came so soon, he's nowhere near on tier of the like can't fear and world characters that we have now. So that's kind of unfortunate with that, but um, it kind of is what it is, uh, as far as you know how Ukior stands up to like Hikone or like you know. There's, there's just no comparison. So, um, but that is basically the thing. Before anniversary drops, bro, they're gonna be baiting you with all the characters that you're wanting. So before this anniversary, I can guarantee you, um, SSBI comes out pretty frequently, but um, I guarantee that Tokinata is gonna come out before this, um, before anniversary. They're probably gonna bring back um, Sinju Maru and Kirinchi. They're probably gonna bring back them as well as um, Tokinata. Um, I can almost guarantee that that this Thousand Year and Blood War and um, Tokinata's Can't Fear and War Band is gonna come back out too. They could bring out the Can't Fear and War with Shinji and Grimjow. Um, I don't think that one has been backed out though. So that one could be a for sure fire. Um, they could also combine two Can't Fear Your Own World rounds or two manga rounds. Or they could be insane and combine a Can't Fear Your Own World and a manga round. Like Can't Fear Your Own World round one with like manga round four. But I think that for this year's anniversary character, since right now the big thing is duo characters, I am almost positive. I think we're going to get Ichigo and Aizen. Um, we're going to get Ichigo and Aizen anniversary duo characters. Um, considering how busted Ginzuru is, this anniversary character is going to have to be like it. I mean, I'm talking about this, this anniversary character might be like the one. Um, I'm definitely expecting double killers, Havoc, Guard Break and Frenzy. And at least a 20 Berserker. They could do 40 Berserker, but I don't think they're going to throw in all the cards. But considering how busted Ginzu is, they're going to have to do something for this anniversary character. Uh, you can't have just a regular, you know, premium character better than the anniversary character that they're about to be marketing and hyping up um last year we got like this trailer about like a silent victory and like um um emotional destruction or something like that and um yeah so last year we got like a preview video or whatever i'm um, a little bit before for speculation just to kind of hype stuff up but like I said, they never ever promote the second part until the first part is like seven days through. So the, the first part will be about, it'll be the same length as any other banner, like 10 to 14 days. Um, and then like halfway through the banner, then they'll start announcing the second part. Just like they did with Thousand and, Blo uh, Thousand and Blower 4 um, and 5. And then, um, yeah, fourth anniversary was Ichigo. Um, and then, so, let's just go ahead and get into who I think are going to be fillers for 5th anniversary. Um, for sure, we should get uh, Tekrukia, Kione, Centaru, and Isane. So, we should get those three right there. And like I said, Tokinata should come back out before then. I'm almost positive Tokinata is coming out before anniversary. So, if you're looking for Tokinata, if that's your, your thirst trap... Be prepared, because his ass is coming out. So, like I said, Keone Centaru, Rukia, Isane. Um, I don't think they're going to do Fierce Battle. Oh, yeah. Koga, Ginrei, <clears throat> um, and Young Byakuya. So, that's six. 
Uh, I guess they could do Hiri Hachi and Lisa, but they were a part of the fillers' last anniversary. Um, so, yeah, so that's six right there. I literally, I literally, like, these just came so easy to me earlier. Um, oh, oh yeah, uh, Mugetsu and Basilor Ichigo, so that's eight characters right there, and then they could just throw in some trash fillers, or they could throw in some seasonal characters. I do think that they probably could add in some seasonal characters to Anniversary, but we also could get the Fierce Battle characters. If we get all three Fierce Battle characters, that will be 11 fillers. And at that point, if you get these three characters, then the main character can really be whoever they want. Because people are going to go in for, for Fierce Battle, Ichigo, Kenpachi, and Aizen. Um, but like I said, I do think that the exclusive character is going to be Kenpachi and Aizen. I mean, a Kenpachi and, I mean, excuse me, and Ichigo and an Aizen. And I think for the second half of it, um, it's going to be the next, it should be Camp Fear and World, technically. Because, or it could be manga. It just depends. So for this end of month, we could get manga. So next end of month could be Camp Fear and World. Or they could not do Camp Fear and World and they could not do um, manga for this end of month and they could do a premium banner and then they could do like a seasonal like swimsuits and then um, they probably won't do a mid-month banner they because last anniversary they didn't do a mid-month banner um, they just brought back a whole bunch of crazy banners that you wanted um, and I do think that they're going to bring back uh, like Thousand and Blower round one. I think they'll probably, they could like mix a couple Thousand and Blower banners or mix a couple Camp Fear and War banners. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, like I said, Ichigo and um, Aizen uh, duo character. I think that character is going to be very, very broken. I don't think we'll get two anniversary characters. I think it'll just be the one duo character. Um, and if they do that, maybe we do get a, a mid-month, you know what I mean? Um, and also one thing, uh, we definitely will not get uh, Ginzuru and Redux Tosh in there. Um, there's been so many premium banners, holy shit. And there's been so many exclusive banners, yeah. We definitely won't get Ginzuru in them, and I really don't expect to get the Fierce Battle characters, though. I'm expecting like some just other fillers after that, to be honest. Like I said, they could do some seasonal characters too, just to kind of mix in that pot to make it a little bit more um, enticing. So um, be on the lookout. Every banner that you want is probably going to come back out in between now and then. But now is really the time to start stacking, to start saving your orbs, to start budgeting who you, who you really want to go for. And like I said, you need to realize, bro, that this this um this uh duo character that should be coming is probably going to be broken god kid with havoc and guard break so uh, just be aware man save your orbs get ready because uh fifth anniversary is coming we have a month and a half so it's going to be the 23rd of july and uh yeah that'll be it man so be expecting some teasers be expecting tite kubo collab as well and uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Profit Nation, I'll see you in the next video. I love y'all. I'm out.